Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I have recently started a new unit or main lesson block about the quality of numbers 1 to 12. For each number, I will post a video in which I share the resources I'm using to explore that number. This will include a story, which is mostly original, making a simple main lesson workbook, number exercises, songs and verses, opening and closing activities, games, movement maths, manipulatives, chalkboard drawings, and artworks relating to the story. For most of the numbers, the manipulatives used are the same, but there are some specific games, songs, verses, and artworks that I've located for each number. So come along with me as we explore the quality of numbers with a religious Islamic perspective. We're just exactly, we're going to start with number one. Okay? Now who can tell me something that's only one in the world, like one in nature and stuff? What's something that's one? How many suns are there? How many suns oh, in the sky one. is there? One! There's only one sun, okay? What about how many moons are there? One! one. There's only one moon and one sun, right? Yes. What about how many earths are there? The earth? One! one. There's only one earth! Right? Yes. What else? Let's think. Hmm. How many noses do we have? One. We have one nose! <laughs> Who can think of something else in our body that's only one? One. Thumb. One. One thumb. You have two thumbs. No, but one hand. <laughs> okay, what's only one? We have one nose. What else do we have? One. Um, one. One mouth. One mouth. We have only one mouth. Two eyes. Yeah, we have two eyes, but what do we have? One. Hmm. Mm. What about one chin? One chin. Well, we have one chin. We don't have two chins, right? Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah. What about one head? We have only one head. We only have one brain. Yeah, that's true. We only have one brain. What about inside? What do we have in here? One heart. One heart. One heart. Yeah. I know. What about this whole thing? What about you? Is there two Mariams in the world? Or is there only one Mariam? One Mariam. Right. There's only one Mariam in the world that's like you, right? There's other ones called Mariam, right? Yeah, but they But they're not the same as Mariam. Exactly. In the same heart, in the same soul, right? What is that? One soul. Right, one oh. soul. That's good. Okay, guys, so yeah, let me draw you one. Look, what does one look like, huh? Line. Yeah, one is a line, but you can also draw like this. Okay? Like or, yeah. yes, you can just have it Take just a line. You know what's the true number one? What is the ultimate one and the best one and the only one, and the true one? Is Allah. Allah is one, okay? And Allah is above the sky. And there is no one like Allah. And there is nothing like Allah. Allah is only one. And Allah is the first. He's the first before anything was made. Before anything was created, Allah was there. Okay? Before anything existed. Anything at all. The earth, the sky, the stars, the heaven. Anything. Before anything existed. The galaxy. Allah was there. Allah created you, and Allah created me, and Allah created the trees, and everything in the sky. He created Allah. Yeah, he created Allah. Allah is the greatest, and he's only one. There's no two Allahs, there's only one. Did you know, Allah doesn't have a partner. Yeah. Allah doesn't have a helper, and Allah doesn't need anyone, and we need Allah. The Quran is the words of Allah, right? right? The Quran is the words of Allah. Yeah. And Allah told the Prophet Muhammad yeah. about him. In one surah. It's called Surah Ikhlas, Sincerity. That's what the surah is called. It's called the Surah of Sincerity. Okay, because you have to be sincere to believe in Allah. So Allah said, Qul huwa Allahu ahad. Say, I am Allah, one and only, Allahu Samad, the one that everyone needs and he does not need anyone. Lam yalid wa lam yulad. He does not have children and he is not given birth to. He's not born by anyone. Okay? Wa lam yakul lahu kufuwan ahad. And there is no one and nothing like Allah. So that was the story of number one. Allah is one. Say, Allah is al-ahad. 
Al Ahad means the one and only. Allah is Al Ahad. First we say Aoudu Billahi. Yeah. Okay, now we're going to count backwards. It's a bit trickier. 18, 19. Watch, ready? Bum, 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 bum. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. Hurrah, hurrah. The ants go marching one by one. The little one stops to suck his thumb. <laughs> and they all go marching down to the ground to get out of the rain. Now get After lunch, I grabbed my 24 pack of Faber Castell pastel chalks and drew a hand with its index pointed to the sky to symbolize the Islamic belief in Allah's oneness and his worthiness of being singled out in worship. I then placed the chalkboard drawing onto the display table along with another chalkboard drawing which depicts some of the singular objects and attributes we discussed in our lesson. So here we have our number one display. We have a dice that's showing number one. We also have this gorgeous shell here. It's one shell. We have this red yo-yo as well. Um, we have this little number one rod. I also have a video, um, a DIY video of me making these. This is a number one out of beeswax. I also have a tutorial on making these little number pots with the peg dolls and its little companion there. With these number ones, that is the display. I made these cards which are different forms of numbers. So there's written, there's the numeral, there is um, Arabic, Roman, uh, domino, or dots and then there is um, shape so here is the shape since there's no shape early for number one it's just a dot to make the workbooks I just grabbed some of these a3 drawing paper obviously I rip it out and fold it in half and then later on I fold it all together and I did a saddle stitch and strung it all, all together. So on day one, we only did the covers. So we did the front and the back. So the front obviously representing number one and the back being the shape of the numbers. So since number one does not have a shape, that's why we simply just put a dot. This is mine and this is my son's. We just did some Play-Doh. We molded the Play-Doh into a number one. If you have some beeswax as well, you can use that to mold into a number one. I've I done that myself and used it on our number one display. On the floor, we drew a large number one where he had to walk on it. And then they also decorated that large number one with sticks. And we also used um, our little chalkboards and he practiced you know writing the number one or drawing the number one another thing that we did is use the, the sand manipulative it's just basically a tray with some salt or some sand in it and you just get a stick or a pencil and you use it to trace had number one had a shape we would have practiced it on our embroidery hoop that we're going to mark 12 um, nails on it and we're going to use that in later lessons. We couldn't use it for this lesson, but we will be using it in upcoming videos and I'll show you how. And so that was day one. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Remember yesterday? What did we learn about? We learned about one, right? Adiam, I'm going to ask you. What's something that's one in the world? One in the world. Yeah, what's something? The world is one, yeah? The world is one. There's one world. One earth, right? One earth. Yeah, one earth. Good job. Give me five. It's my turn. Okay, now you be. What's one thing in the world? Um, 
Ooh. There's one man. Good job. Give me five. That's right. Ahmad, what's something else that's one in, oh. in the world? Allah is one, right. So well, now let's talk about first what's in the world that's one. Okay. There's one you, right? So there's one Allah. There's one man and there's one you. Yeah. Good job, guys. And remember, there's one sun, but the sun is on you now. Look at the sun in the sky. How we learned okay. how to write one like this. Mm -hmm. yeah. Remember? We learned mm -hmm. this one. And then I told you, this is actually the Arabic way of writing one is like this. It's just a line. Did you know that? That's actually the Arabic way of writing one. Here I had to cut out the audio as the church bells were going off quite loudly. I was just explaining that Wahad is the Arabic way of saying number one, and that Allah's name Al-Ahad that we learned about the other day is derived from the number Wahad, further reinforcing Allah's oneness. One other way that we're going to learn, we're going to learn the Roman way. Yeah, Roman way is a very old way as well. I'm going to tell you a story about the Roman way, okay? There was a man, he had lots and lots of sheep, okay? He was a shepherd. And then at nighttime, he had to bring them back home. Because in the daytime, he would open the doors and the sheep would all go and eat the grass. They would go far away in the mountains and eat the grass. And then at nighttime, the shepherd has to call them back. Oh, sheep, come back. It's getting dark. Because or else the wolves will eat the sheep if they stay out. So they had to come back home. And when they would come back home, he needed to count them. He wanted to count the sheep. Can you guys right? find me lots of sticks and I'll show you how he wrote the numbers with sticks. So we have one. Oh, and that's a bit wobbly. Stick one, like that. And then we have another stick like this and another stick like that. And that was the number one in Roman. Count to 20. One, two, three, four, five, six. So on day two, he revised the shapes that are, that are used to make number one. So basically to make the number one, use a diagonal line, a vertical line, and a horizontal line. So here you can see that we practice those lines. We practice the Arabic writing of number one. So here's the Arabic writing. So the manipulative use to enhance the Arabic writing of number one was just the sand tray. So next, still on day two, we practice the Roman numeral. Same thing, the only um, manipulative used to enhance this was the card that I wrote. And he just used the card as a reference and drew in the sand, all salt in my case. So this was the last activity in the book for, not for day two. And it was just writing the word of number one. And the um, manipulative that I made to enhance this was just the ladder that I have a video of, and I will link that below. It's just basically a number ladder. Also, of course, he continued to use the um, salt tray sand activity to end the cards that I made as an example to copy. Okay, so we're going to practice Surah Ikhlas. All right. So repeat after me. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. One for Allah, the only one. Do with your finger like this. One for Allah, the only one. Okay, can you do it by yourself? One for the Allah only. One for Allah, Allah. the only. Now for day one. three, we made dots or dominoes. Just the dot form of number one, let's say. And um, we did use actual antique dominoes as well as a manipulative that I actually have inherited from my grandmother. And here I made up a game where I placed six dominoes that either used addition or subtraction to make the sum of one and six dominoes that didn't. So my son had to mentally add or subtract the dots on each tile to find the dominoes that made one. So these dominoes are kind of like a fun game as well to help show the number one in a different way. This exercise for day three was these, uh, this pattern basically. It's just pattern making, just for him to learn patterns of number one, basically alternating between red and orange dots. I don't think I have an associating um, 
manipulative with this. But it's pretty straightforward. So next, here is the number ladder that I was speaking about. This is number one, so it's just teaching him that, not that he didn't know already, but another way to physically, visually show how number one is less than the number that's going to come after it and so forth until it goes up to number 12 or number 10. I'm not sure what number we're going up to. And next is the skip counter. So this is his. He was drawing, writing the numbers one, to, he was going to write them all. And then when he got to three, I just realized that his writing was just too big that I'll have to finish the numbers for him. And this is mine. I made a specific manipulative for this activity and I have a video of it. And I'll link that below if you, if you want to check it out. And it's basically a peg doll skip counter using um, pipe cleaners. I stuck pieces of masking tape to my floor tiles and labeled them 0 to 12 to create a number line where he would step on each number. Next, we have just a clock here. So you can just learn how to write number one in clock form. And yeah, the manipulative I used to enhance this was a little clock that I purchased from, um, what was it from? It was from Lidl store, similar to Aldi. And um, yeah, so it's just a clock and he just used that to display, you know, one o'clock. Next here we have a multiplication circle or a round skip counter. I made it a manipulative to enhance this in a video that I'll link below. And it's also using peg dolls and a chopping board. So if you want, you can check that out. And the final exercise of the book used to enhance our number one quality of numbers lesson is this page here that we have just a little square representing Cuisinaire rod shape of number one, which is basically a one centimeter by one centimeter square cube. And so later on with other numbers, we'll have like a line in between and it will just be different variations using the Cuisinaire rods of how to make that number. For this closing activity, I place the six sets of cards that I made facing upwards and have my son try to find the ones that represent the number one in each set. This is a really simple way to revisit the workbook exercises and to revise the various ways of writing one. The cards could also be turned upside down and used to play some kind of version of memory match or perhaps even go fish. And here my son is just matching some number one manipulatives with each different number one card. And then we played a game of Uno. As you know, Uno means one in Spanish, and I'm sure all of you know how to play it. But in case you didn't, the point of the game is for the player to correctly use up all his cards, and then he says Uno when he has one card remaining. Go close to your fingers, Yubi. Keep it on your fingers. Hips, like, this, to put your own mm, thing. It's hard for yeah. Yeah, it's something. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's not too bad. Well, it's the best so far. Get more. Oh, wow, that's amazing. And look at me. Yeah. Good job. Good job, guys. Oh, that's strong. Keep going. You need to put more glue, Miriam. Open it back and put some more glue on it. Open it and put more glue. The artwork is inspired by the chalkboard drawing representing the story of number one, being about testifying to Allah's oneness. I also made my own artwork inspired by the same picture using watercolor paints and watercolor pencils. I think they all turned out great. I truly hope you found this video beneficial. If you want to know how I made some of these manipulatives, or for the full songs and stories, I'll have them written or linked in the description box below. Don't forget to share this video with anyone whom you think may benefit. Perhaps consider subscribing, and stay tuned for more to come. And as always, thanks for watching.